Hi, this is Hank Hennegraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. I'm thinking right now about something that is is talked about in the news media, but not in completeness. Oftentimes what is neglected is the fact that evolution is inherently racist. So there are a lot of people talking about racism who are evolutionists and don't recognize that the theory that they embrace also promotes a horrible ethic. If you think about Charles Darwin, for example, he famously wrote The Descent of Man. And in that book, as most people know or should know, he said that at some future period that wasn't very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of humanity will almost certainly exterminate and replace savage races around the world. And we should never forget that his magnum opus was subtitled The Preservation of favored races in the struggle for life. And of course, there's Thomas Huxley, his bulldog, who coined the term agnostic, who was the man most responsible for advancing his dogmas. And he went so far as to say that no rational man, cognizant of the facts, believes that the average Negro And this was his phraseology. This was his precise word. The average Negro is the equal, still less, the superior of the white man. Talk about racism. And then I think we should also recognize that for evolution to succeed, it is as crucial that the unfit die as that the fit to survive. That's part and parcel of the process, because if the unfit survived indefinitely, they continue to infect the fit with their less fit genes, and the natural result would be that the more fit genes would be diluted and compromised by the less fit genes, and then evolution couldn't take place. Now, uh, well... Evolutionary racism, uh, at least the racism of Darwin's day, is politically incorrect today. Current biology textbooks still promote vestiges of racism. For example, the inherently racist recapitulation theory, you know, the theory that says ontogeny recapitulates phylogeny, is, is not only common in science curricula, but it has been championed in our generation by luminaries, scientific luminaries like Carl Sagan. And this theory persists despite the fact that modern studies in molecular genetics have demonstrated that it's utterly false. Recapitulation, we should never forget, provided a convenient focus for racism. Racism of white scientists in the modern era. And yet we were talking about racism and not getting to the root of where racism has been popularized in our generation. In fact, in, in several generations. In fact, we could say, I think if we use historical precedents in generations throughout history, how different the Christian worldview, where in Christ there's no Jew or Greek. It's not a matter of your your race or your nationality. There's no slave or free. It's not about your station in life. There's no male or female. Because in Christ, there is utter equality. If you are a child of God, you are are an heir according to the promise. So the Christian worldview presupposes 
human equality. The evolutionary worldview does not. Thanks for tuning in.